what happens if you get a class name clash? Um, I have to say, you, you import a class using import fully qualified name, and uh, then later on in the package you, you define a class which has got the same name. Well, fairly obviously in that case you're going to get a compiler error. So what happens if you, instead of importing like that, you use um, uh, import on demand, so you import package name star, and um, you try and define a class that's that uh, with a name that matches one of the classes in the package that you're importing from. Well, it turns out that this is OK, um, and uh, the local version that you declare within the package is going to prevail everywhere. And if you want the version that's, um, that you've imported, then uh, you've got to use its fully qualified name. And uh, here's an example to illustrate that. Um, here's a package here, and uh, it's got two public classes and a uh, non-public class there. And uh, a second package here called test. And um, down here inside test, it declares a class P2. Now, um, if we import from uh, this package here, if we import P2, then when we come down to here and, and it the uh, compiler sees that we're defining P2 down here, it will give an error at that point there. So I've commented that line out. Right, now if we do selective importing, um, I mean import on demand, that's what I should say, um, then everything's quite okay. And uh, here's another class defined in this um, with a variable P2. And uh, if we use P2 here, it's going to refer to that class there, not to this one up here that's also available because we've uh, got import on demand. So I refer to test P2. And uh, just for good measure, P1, there's a variable P1 declared here, and uh, that's going to refer to this one here, which is com acme widget server dot P1. Now, if you want to get P2, you've got to, got to specify its fully qualified name. Come out, move yourself P2. That's quite okay. That's the only way, in fact, to, to get it P2. Uh, that's the P2 there, of course. And uh, just for good measure, if you put that in, of course, it's going to give an error straight away because C1 is not public, so you can't, can't refer to it in any way.